<clears throat> Oliver. Hey man, it's been a while since I posted anything to you. Um, look at these cars get by, so it ain't so loud. Walking this morning, I'm actually um, coming back from the gym. Walk there, and I'm walking back at taught a class. Mondays and Wednesdays, I teach a cycling class. Anyway, I was listening to a uh, sermon this morning, Tony Evans, talking about prayer, the power of prayer, connecting prayer, basically praying to touch God's heart. So, and I'm still learning this. I'm by no means great at this. I'm not. I'm, I'm still learning. Um, prayer life is just any anything with your scripture. I am with the scripture, with just the uh, Christian life. You know, you're you're constantly stretching yourself to learn more about God. And one of those things is. Your prayer life is key and I'm learning more and more each day about how important that is with anxieties um, just everything decision making so th this is the whole point this is the whole premise so what I want to do is I wish you know I didn't get saved to later on in life so my prayer is continue to pray that, that you'd come to know Christ early in your life so you can start growing a lot earlier than I did uh, but prayer is one of those key points to help you grow in your scripture and your in your personal spiritually the word I've been trying to think of so if I can encourage you to, one of the things is whatever it takes whatever it takes to get to the point in your life where I don't no matter how old you are, you, I don't care. I don't care how old you are. Uh, learning to pray, and all that is is having a conversation with God. No different than what I'm having with you right here. Uh, it's just having a conversation with God, talking to Him about everything. You name it. Um. It, it helps. I'm just going to tell you, it helps. So that's my encouragement to you this morning. It's having kingdom prayers that touch God's heart. Having kingdom's prayers that touch God's heart. Uh, and that's just conversation. Letting him know your concerns, your everything. He's not there to judge. He's there to help. Believe me, as a follower of Christ, he wants his children to... to flourish to glorify him and the things we do and how do you do that how you well you got to know the heart of god so anyway i love you oliver uh had a good time with you last friday gonna have another good time with you this friday um so have a blessed day see you soon